What is up, everybody? It is Mr. J Pickles here, and today I am going over Sonia, the wandering barbarian, apparently. Uh, I'm going over her talents. There is a gameplay video down below. I'll put it in the description. Um, in lieu of all the popular um, playing of Illidan, a lot of people don't pick Sonia, and I think Sonia is like a hard counter for Illidan. She's really strong. And the come on and slam talent, Seismic Slam, is just too good to pass up. So, quick overview of her abilities. Ancient Spear, it's a directional singular CC stun. Seismic Slam, she slams ground, it'll do splash damage behind targets. And then Whirlwind, she spins around and heals up from it, from all the enemies that she is hitting. Her trait is Fury, she uses Fury, so the more she auto attacks and her spear will generate Fury, she then uses said Fury for her... Other abilities such as Seismic Slam and Whirlwind. Her heroic abilities will go over once we get to level 10. Quick overview of her skins. Ooh, ah, uh, they're really cool. I like this one a lot. But if you're a classic Warcraft, World of Warcraft player, you'll really like this one. This is just classic. I believe it's, what, Tier 2 Warrior? Pretty sick. Let's jump into the talents, though, right away. Level 1, we got War Paint, Block, Endless Fury, and Shot of Fury. Now... If you were going to go Endless Fury, then don't go Shot of Fury. Or, that makes no sense. If you were gonna go Shot of Fury, go Endless Fury instead. Aha! Now, Shot of Fury is good. You just get a quick boost of Fury. But a nice thing you can do is just get Endless Fury and then stack it up. Stack your Fury to maximum. I mean, you don't really want to be using Fury other than a Whirlwind to clear the minion wave. And then once you engage in a fight with another hero or enemy team heroes. Um, so Endless Fury is a really strong pick. War Paint, really good, but I don't find myself auto-attacking that much. Excuse me. Excuse me, I had a little hiccup there. Um, I don't find myself auto-attacking that much, so I really don't think War Paint is that valuable. And then Block, of course, depending on what the enemy team runs, is a nice pickup. So between level 1 talents, I really like Endless Fury and Block. Those are two of the stronger talents. Moving on to level 4. We got ah, a hair in my mouth. Ah, ah. Oh, that was a mustache hair. If you don't know, I have a mustache and that ha happens too frequently. Um, level 4, we got Superiority. Like you guys needed to know, by the way. Uh, superiority, Focused Attack. Boon of the Ancients and a Furious Blow. Get your minds out of the gutters, kid. Uh, superiority, nah, skip over. Focus Attack, nah, skip over. Boon of the Ancients has some merit to it, especially if you combine it with Poison Spear on the next level. But to increase her overall damage, Furious Blow is really, really strong. Yes, it does increase the cost, but you do have Endless Fury, so it's not as punished. And then also, at level 13, you can get a talent to reduce that cost a little bit after your initial one. So, level 4, I really like Fury's Blow. It helps her damage and, like, burst damage, where she really gets that bruiser melee warrior aspect of her. Boon of the Ancients is a nice follow-up, but overall, I think Fury's Blow, hands down, is the greatest talent and then thus we move on to level seven level seven pretty simple uh three talent choices but all of them have uh applicable uh moments uh, uh, poison spear deal damage over time shattered ground uh more splash damage and then ferocious healing you gotta heal so if you're lacking in the healing department ferocious healing is pretty strong if you don't mind dying or you just want to try and get as out as much damage as possible, then I would probably ignore Ferocious Healing and go for one of the other two. Shattered Ground is really good if you think the enemy team is going to be um, kind of stacked up. In my gameplay video, I go against the Lost Vikings and it's really strong, except for the fact that I don't pick it. Spoiler alert. Um, Poison Spear is overall my favorite pick, but Shattered Ground is you would have like as a off pick same with ferocious healing as an off pick this talent tree as simple as it is with only three choices is one of the most difficult because it all depends on the enemy team what you have what they have and how you plan on playing pa -da -pa -da -pa. so it's a lot of fun though um overall poison spear is my favorite 
followed by Shadow Ground, followed by Ferocious Healing. A nice one, two, three down the row. But, of course, pending the situations, some of these are stronger than others. Level 10, we got Leap and Wrath of the Berserker. Leap is a nice uh, AoE stun in an area, and the Wrath of the Berserker just increases her damage and uh, gives her CC reduction. So, with Wrath of the Berserker, this is where Furious Blow, Shatter Ground, and Poison Spear, um, Aftershock, like, she just gets a lot of damage. So, if you don't need to worry about the CC department, go for Wrath of the Berserker. You will just do so much damage. And it's really, really strong. Um, you can just wreck people. Like, spear in and then just slam, 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 slam. Especially if you're stacking your Fury Bar to full. It's really cool. Really strong. I like it a lot. Leap decent uh if you need the cc it's really good it's a nice engagement just for oh, and then you're in there already doing damage so it's pretty sick uh overall though i mean both of these talents are really strong and they have their moments <laughs> level 13 we got composite spear life funnel dust devils aftershock and spell shield aftershock is really good because it reduces the fury cost by 50 percent, and on level four it increases the cost by 40 percent. so it's pretty much negating the downside to level four and you're getting more bang for your buck so then you could just slam 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 and then especially if you go with uh shattered ground and wrath of the berserker you're just slamming a lot especially if they're grouped up it's a really solid talent i ignore dust devils and composite spear is pretty nice if you need that engagement uh dust devils though i ignore life funnel it's nice but i mean Eh, since whirlwind has a cooldown i find myself using slam a lot more this one's kind of just oh well i'm just gonna whirlwind because there's a lot of enemies near me so uh like life funnel has its moments but composite spear is really good for engagements but aftershock overall i feel is the strongest talent because of that extra um your, more value out of your slam like you can slam more and then Spell Shield is good if they have like a Nova or Falstad or somebody just with a lot of burst. But overall, I think Aftershock is the stronger. Possible choices other than Aftershock would be Composite Spear and Spell Shield, in my opinion. <gasps> Level 16. Boop. We got No Escape, Enduring Whirlwind, Mystical Spear, Imposing Presence, and Stone Skin. I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of Enduring Whirlwind and mystical spear i used to always pick mystical spear but over time i've noticed that some of these other talents are a lot stronger um enduring whirlwind more duration is nice but most of the time you'll just get cc'd out of your whirlwind anyways so there's no real point behind taking it um no escape is great for that chase down ability if you need that chase down so that's where ting -ting, i would put a little check mark on picking it um imposing presence and stone skin though both of those have their merits if you notice that there are a lot of like single target uh, a lot of auto attackers so a falstad a rainer a sergeant hammer uh the list goes on and on like you know what i mean by auto attacking people tychus and vala not so much but the longer duration like people that have actual like you get it um imposing presence has its uh merit there and then stone skin is just good for that extra shield if you find yourself dying a lot which is my go-to pick on this talent stone skin first and then imposing presence or no escape would probably be followed as my second picks or alternative picks pending the situation of course so do with that as you will the other two i'd yeah just kind of skim skip over and finally we get to the level 20 we got a rent crater anger management nexus blades and hardened shield right off the bat a ret crater i don't like it it's nice but i'd rather buff myself in another aspect so shrink strike through that anger management is really really strong but at the same time i mean eh, it increases the reduction of disables and the duration but the duration is already so long and it's on such a short cooldown that there really is no point in taking this and if you already go Wrath of the Berserker, you're probably better off going Nexus Blades or Hardened Shield because they're probably going to focus you down once you pop Anger Management. Which then brings me to Nexus Blades and Hardened Shield. If you're getting focused down, I would go Hardened Shield hands down because, I mean, you it's 75% damage reduction. It's beautiful. It's, it's glorious. Um, and then Nexus Blades is also really good 
for, of course, just auto-attacking. I took it against an Illidan once. Right when he evades, you spear him so he's stunned, you slam, and then once his evasion is off, all your auto attacks are just going to deal so much more damage. Your Wrath of the Berserker will stay up. You'll be slamming more. Like, it's just all around solid. So overall, Nexus Blades and Hardened Shield, really great. Depends on the situation. Hardened Shield if you're getting focused. Nexus Blades if you find yourself a little bit more uh, spontaneous and able to deal more damage and not have to worry about getting focused down so quick. Guys, that is my talent coverage, of course, of Sonya. Thank you all for watching. I hope this helped you guys out. Check out my other videos, my other talent overviews and gameplay. And I have some guides that I'll be linking down below as well. Make sure to check those out. Love y'all. Take care. Have a great day or night or evening, whatever time zone it is for you. Bye, guys.